Hello friends, welcome to StormTopia.com. Here we are again for the daily forecast video, and this is not a very daily event. The President's Day Storm of 2012. Now guys, I don't want to overhype this, it's not going to be the biggest thing that's ever happened, but you know, you folks in Virginia don't tend to get a lot of snow, and I think this may come as a shock to the system, especially considering that a lot of meteorologists do not have a lot of snow for you. It may come as a shock how much snow falls in places like Richmond and Charlottesville. Let's take a look at the current water vapor imagery. And first, I just want to state, somebody is going to come out of full on this, okay? Either it's me, or it's the people who are not predicting what I'm predicting, alright? If you have like one to three inches for two to four or two to four inches for a place like Richmond right now, I think you're wrong. But then again, I could be made a fool of. So keep in mind that anyone could be wrong. So this should be a bash-free environment over the next couple of days. And then I guess you get to make fun of them once they're wrong. Water vapor imagery shows our storm in Oklahoma pushing east. It's about two days away. And here's the deal, folks. I'm going to give you a latest animation on Futurecast NAM. Here we are by Sunday, well no, this is about 8 p.m. on Saturday. The precipitation does not really arrive until early Sunday morning. It starts as rain over to snow pretty quickly by midday in Richmond. Meanwhile, already snow a couple inches on the ground by midday in uh, places like uh, West Virginia and places like Roanoke. Roanoke, you might get dry slotted. That's an issue for you guys that you'll have to deal with. But I think even Roanoke will see a pretty good amount of snow. And I know this is too far south, but this is what we're going to be... That, that, that. The um, uh, screen up there was too far north. But in fact, I'm going to actually focus it in just specifically on the area is getting impacted. So you can have a better view. And what you see here going on as you go for time, you quickly go from rain to snow in Richmond. You quickly go from rain to snow in the Delmarva. And southern Jersey stays snow almost the entire time. Now who sees what? This is a complicated storm. I'm going to tell you right now. I've already told you some folks are going to come out as fools. But let's just talk about how much snow I think we're going to see. Now this is in pretty stark contrast to what a lot of people are saying. Um, and to me, it seems like somewhat of an obvious forecast, uh, but apparently not to them. AccuWeather has around 3 to 6 inches for D.C., Richmond. And I think that's good for D.C., but not so much for Richmond. I think Richmond, I have you right on the border between 6 to 10 and 3 to 6. Realistically, I think you see 5 to 8. Northward, I think 3 to 6 inches for D.C. and Baltimore is a good idea. Now, D.C., I think you see 4 to 6 on the higher end of that 3 to 6. Baltimore, I think you see 2 to 5 on the lower end of that 3 to 6. Southern Jersey, very overall unpopulated area. Can't find any cities, but a couple inches for you. I don't think New York is anything out of this one. And then you've it back south. Immediately, places like Fredericksburg. You're going to see at least, I would say, 6 to 8 inches out of this event. At least 6 inches in Richmond. You could see 8. You could even see 9. As you head out west in central Virginia, 6 to 10 easy. Some folks not just seeing 6 or 7. We could see 9 and 10 inch amounts in places like Charlottesville. And then from Roanoke all the way back up to the areas less populated, like Blacksburg in western Virginia and southern West Virginia, 10 to 15 inches. Yeah, somebody sees a foot or more out of this event, I tell you right now. The 12Z NAM had actually up to 18 inches, and I don't think that happens, but that just gives you an idea of how much snow this storm has the potential to produce. In stark contrast to all this heavy snow, I've got haters going on right now, and I'm actually the most generous to the Hampton Roads area of Virginia. But basically, I think lower end of 6 to 10 for a place on the Hampton Roads in central Virginia realistically maybe like four to five by the time you get to places like go oh, say north of Newport News probably two to four in Newport News maybe one to two you'll be lucky to get a coating in a place like Norfolk and, uh, you might you literally might see anything but nothing in Virginia Beach tough call for you guys but I don't think you'll see any more than a couple inches so it's a really really uh, unfortunate storm for the coast once again out in the Appalachians, the rich get richer, and on the coast, the poor get poorer. Now here's the deal, folks. There are a few things that are gold in the world of forecasting, and my site is not one of them, my Facebook page. But I do think it's definitely worth a like. It's pretty it's a real simple real simple action. All you have to do is click like, and then you're informed more than you were yesterday. And think about it. 
Um, basically what's going on is when you like my page, unfortunately the website is not working right now. It will not update because every time I try to update it, I get a message which is super annoying, but I think I'll get it fixed. But for now, you just have to see. Tune to my Facebook page. Can't wait to track the storm with you guys. There's going to be intermediate updates between videos on the page. There's going to be lots of fun stuff going on. So stay tuned. Sit. Be on the Facebook page. Be there or be square. Okay.